That's the exact reason why I started this business. Because reading a biography of Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, and I just fell in love with this man's character, and I, felt, I found out that this man, he loved fragrance. And so I, I, I just right away, I just right along, just fell in love with fragrance too. I fell in love with it, Fred, Fred fell in love with it too. Just because he loved this, because he loved it, I just want to love it too. Everything that he wanted to do, I wanted to try to do the same thing. So I fell in love with fragrance too. And that's how I started this business. Now, so I have already talked about his sweat, his body chemistry. I have already also talked about um, the fact that he used to love fragrance a lot. Now what we're going to talk about now, we're going to talk about the type of uh, how his wives would describe when they will put the fragrance on. Let's get right to it. Uh, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace and blessings be upon him. One of his wives, his, her name was uh, Aisha. A-I-E-S-H-A. -E Aisha. One time she rubbed some fragrance in his hair. She rubbed some fragrance in his hair. And he went around, he, he went around to his wives. He went to all of his wives because he had multiple wives. He went to all of his wives and he came back to her in the morning. When he came back to her, she described specifically, she said that I can see, she said, I can see the shine from the part. He had a part in the middle of his head. I can see the shine from the part of it, the, the shine, uh, the fragrance from the part of his head, the glitter from the fragrance. And I can still smell the scent coming from him. I can still smell the scent coming from him. That's early in the morning. So when he came back to her the very next day, she still smelled that scent from him. What does that show? What does that show? That showed two things, actually. That showed the first thing, which is whatever fragrance he was using was a very good quality fragrance. It wasn't something that just lasts for a couple hours. It was something that really would stick. It would last. And the other thing is, um, it shows that he had a really nice, you know, uh, when he would put fragrance on, the fact that his body chemistry was already sweet, pleasant, it would pretty much enhance the fragrance, makes it, I guess, make it last longer. And some would say, okay, that's your opinion. And I, you know, I respect it. If you say that's my opinion, because if I don't have any evidence, then I have to go based upon what is uh, textual facts. But one thing that I can say for sure is that it, it will last a long time with him. All right? Now, let me see. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so it will last a really long time on this man. Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. And I want you guys to listen to this. Narrated, it's, it's narrated, uh, Muhammad ibn al-Muntathir, Muntathir, on authority of his father that he had, he asked Aisha, Prophet Muhammad's wife, his wife. She asked him, she said, May Allah be merciful to Abu Abdurrahman, I used to put scent on the messenger of Allah, they're talking about Muhammad, I used to put scent, fragrance on, put scent on the messenger of Allah, and he used to go around his wives, and in the morning, he assumed the ihram, and the fragrance and the fragrance of scent was still coming out from his body. I just got done talking about that. I mean, she can smell it. Obviously, it was something worth talking about because I'm a t you know you know how women do. Women, you know, they see if I if I go if I go around my wife and I, I got a nice fragrance on, you know, what my wife is gonna tell me, "Oh, baby, you smell good. What is that you're wearing?" His wife Aisha, she said, when he came to her, she said, "I can still smell the scent, meaning the same fragrance. I can still smell it coming out from his body, the same exact fragrance."